Hello, this is Zivin, the XR windowing system that we are developing. Zivin is a windowing system that supports both 3D applications and Linux-based 2D applications, and you can use this in VR as well as regular 2D screens. I will now show you how to use Zivin. To use Zivin, you will need a PC running Ubuntu or Arch Linux, and a MetaQuest 2 or a Pro headset along with a cable to connect them. The PC doesn't have to be gaming PCs, just a regular laptop is enough. To use Zivin's compositor, which is called Zen, you start from the 2D screen. When you try to unlock the PC as usual, you will see the name of Zen here. Selecting it here, we launch the 2D version of Zen. In 2D Zen, you can use regular Linux apps as is, such as Google Chrome and Terminal. You can move windows around like a normal PC. Let's open Google Slides in Chrome. So now I'm using Zivin in 2D. But where Zivin really shines is in VR. There's a VR button here. Pressing this button brings up the list of available VR headsets that you can connect to. Right now, no headset is displayed since I haven't launched an app for Zen on a headset yet. So, make sure that the Quest is connected to a PC with a cable, and then put on Quest, and open an app called Zen Mirror. Now Quest is recognized. It says wired here since I connected with a cable, but it will be possible to do this wirelessly very soon. By pressing this connect button, then we'll switch to VR mode, and you'll be able to work in VR like this. In VR, the windows you are using in 2D are displayed as is. Then on the PC sends the information of the windows to the Zen mirror on the Quest, and the apps on the PC can be displayed in VR like this. Usual VR desktop systems only mirrors the PC screen, not individual windows. But with them, because it's displaying the apps natively, you can move windows around freely, like this. This surface that windows are sticking to is called a board. You can open windows in board as you like, like that, and you can move a window to another board. Board itself can also be moved to wherever you want, like this. It's like a virtual monitor. Currently, there can be only 5 boards at a time, but you'll be able to increase or decrease the number of boards freely pretty soon. To operate in VR, we use a ray. The ray works just like a cursor. Moving the pointer to the right by using the mouse or trackpad, we we'll move the ray to the right. And moving it up, we we'll move the ray up. A lot of conventional VR systems use a VR controller to move the ray. But using a controller for long periods of time can become tiring and it's difficult to do precise operation. So with them, we we'll move the ray using a mouse. This way, you can operate in VR with a mouse and keyboard just as you always do. So, let's go to the next slide, like that. In VR, there's a launcher here, and you can open an app by selecting an icon with a ray and clicking, like this. By the way, you can see this particular icon is 3D, right? This is for our 3D viewer app. Clicking it will open the 3D viewer like this. It's now showing the 3D model of our dragon. When I hover the ray to it and scroll, the dragon rotates. With Zivin, you can see 3D models directly in VR like this. You can see other 3D models too. First, open the file explorer like you normally do, and double click your favorite STL file. Then the 3D viewer opens, and you can see models like a brain, 
and an engine. As you can see, the 3D viewer opens just like a regular 2D windows. This ability to use multiple 3D windows is a major feature of Zwing. Actually, using multiple 3D apps side by side like this is just impossible with existing VR systems. In other VR systems, the entire field of view is dedicated to one app, so it is not possible to use multiple 3D apps like this. In such an environment, each app need to be giant size to render the entire field of view from sky, floor, and to objects. Such giant apps are difficult and time-consuming to make, and only large companies are able to do that, which leads to monopolies. On the other hand, Zwin is open source, and anyone can freely develop small 3D apps, allowing even small-scale developers to participate in VR app development. We've been talking about 3D windows, but in fact, the background display here is also an app. Let's try closing this app. And the background app was closed. Like that, the background and other windows are handled by separate apps. In Zwin, you can further separate the background app, and by launching apps in modules, like a sky app and the floor apps, you can customize your virtual environment as you like. Again, this is impossible in a normal VR system, and this is a new mechanism realized by Zwin. It feels not so good here, so let's start the background app again. Much better. So, working in VR in current headsets for a long period of time can lead to eye and head fatigue. We believe that this problem will be solved in the future as the hardware tech improves, but right now it can be difficult to work for long periods in VR. So, if you start to feel tired while using VR, it's a good idea to take a break and put off the headset. Let's try that. So, I remove the headset. And you can exit VR mode and continue working in 2D mode. You can see that the same Chrome window I was using before is still available. The windows on a different board I was using in VR earlier can be accessed from this feature here. In the 2D screen, boards are grouped together like this, and you can use them like a virtual desktop on a regular PC. Like this, the concept of boards serves as a bridge between 2D and VR worlds. As we've seen, Zwin is an XR windowing system that allows for comfortable working using both 2D windows and 3D windows in both VR and 2D screens. Anyone with a PC running Ubuntu or Arch Linux and MetaQuest can try it out today. You can install Zwin now from zwin.dev.